We've had a few people ask for a tour of our RV that we're currently driving across Japan, so I thought I would film one real quick while we're parked at a beautiful campsite. Melissa's finishing up her spaghetti. No, I'm feeding the baby. This is the exterior of our 16-foot camping car, which is what they are called here in Japan. It is a diesel. We drive it on the left side of the road. A lot of the windows that you see pop out just like many European and now a lot of American RVs as well. We rent it through a company called El Monte RV. They have location in the US. And Did you say El Monte? El Monte. El Monte. El Monte, something like that. We're not like endorsed by them, so we don't have to get that right. This RV is three meters tall and we're 4.9 meters long. And today was the very first time that I had to go really slow under a bridge in order to get to our destination because it was three meters and we're supposedly like 2.99 and we didn't scrape. So we did verify that fact that we are three meters. One thing that I really like about this is we have Hey, there's a person in here. <laughs> These are actually a bunk bed. So this is a bunk, this is a bunk, and then this is storage. We are currently not using them as bunk beds. We're all sleeping up at the front of the RV. So this is just where we've thrown all our clothes. And there's a human back here, so I'm gonna pay attention. But we've got an, two windows in the back and then a ladder over here and that's pretty much standard RV stuff, I guess. But I'll go ahead and go inside real quick. Sliding door. One thing that's unique is that shoes are prohibited, as is the case with many places in Japan. So I'm gonna slip off my shoes. Over here we've got our kitchen, our sink, a small fridge. Does the job. Lights, heater. So many plugs in here. We've been able to charge everything that we need. We have a microwave that we are currently using for our, our toiletry bags because we haven't used it. Kind of a Mr. Slim equivalent, which works amazingly well. Now I have a baby in here. You're seeing the real deal. One thing that you'll notice is that we took out the dinette booth whenever we started this trip, or we asked them if we could take it out and they said yes. And it's given us a lot more space for the kids to do stuff like that. We've got a driving area that we can fold up. This is a massive kind of king size bed area where we've all been sleeping. It's kind of hard to tell exactly how big this is, but it's huge. It's the biggest cab over bed I've ever seen in any RV yeah, it before is. in our life. And it's actually pretty comfortable. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, sink and it runs it doesn't run off of anything really, but it's like these are the water and the drain fill. How long have we been in here? A week? A full week, yeah. And we haven't dumped the water yet. We haven't been no, using it very much. No, <laughs> because we've just used the dishwashing sinks and we've cooked outside. Yeah. Biggest fear that I had before coming over here was what I'm about to show you in the bathroom, which is the fact that we actually don't have a real toilet. It's called an emergency toilet. My immediate first question was, how often can we use said emergency toilet? And basically what it is, it's a garbage bag that goes inside a toilet that you can then take out. So this is what it looks like. I don't think it's been used right now, so I can open this up. But it's just like a garbage bag and a little thing and kind of like a room where we can hang towels or whatever. And then over here we've got just kind of like your basic storage and stuff. You okay? I was gonna try to do this whole video in one take and honestly I might still just post it like this so I don't have to edit it because I just <laughs> wanted to give a tour. But this is our RV and this is what we're living in a couple weeks as we drive across Japan. It's actually been working out very well. We've had some really great weather so we've been cooking outside a lot. Our rental came with a single propane kind of burner that we could use and surprisingly it hasn't been that stressful driving on the left side of the road and driving in Japan. The roads I'm, have been great. I'm gonna go switch laundry. Okay, I'm on dad duty. That's our RV tour. <laughs> Doing our first laundry since we've been in Japan. Actually the easiest like coin operated laundry ever that I've done. And the cheapest, 200 yen. It's less than two dollars. When we were in Europe, it was about $10 a load, so yay.